Hey guys, in this video, I will show you how to create columns in your data tables, in your database of spatial data types. And spatial data types are the ones that can represent a location on the map or an outline uh, of, a, of, a sur of a closed area on the surface. To do this, I will switch to the data section of the Backendless Console. And in here I have two data tables. One of them is called World Wonders, which contains uh, seven wonders of the world. And uh, as you can see, there is already a column called Location, uh, which points to a location of each of these uh, World Wonders. Uh, the Visualize option in Console lets you display these locations on the map. Uh, there is another table called Country, and uh, these are the countries where these seven wonders of the world are. There is also uh, a spatial uh, uh, column called shape, which displays the outline of those countries. Uh, so to create a data column, uh, and let's create one that would basically uh, point the location of the capital city in this country. So we're going to switch to the schema uh, section uh, for this uh, table. And let's create a column that's going to be called Capital City Location. Since this uh, column will contain a single location such as point, which identifies latitude and longitude of the, let's say, city center, the data type for that is going to be point. Uh, there are other data types available, such as line string and polygon, all of these, and, and geometry, all of these are spatial data types. Point is the most appropriate since we want to represent just a particular location with two coordinates. So we'll select point, click create. And now if we go back to data browser, you see that there is a column, capital city location, the t data type is point. And uh, we can populate values for, these, uh, for this column using either API, or using Backendless Console. To do it with Backendless Console, uh, we can use the Geometry Editor. So you see this little icon right here. If we click uh, that icon here, we will be setting up the location for Italy. So I'm going to go back to that. Uh, and uh, let's just zoom in on Italy, find Rome. Here's Rome. And uh, navigate further just to get to the city center. So click here. This is close enough. Uh, we automatically determine latitude and longitude, and if we click Save, now uh, that particular object has the capital city location value. We click on Visualize, and uh, that point is displayed right there. Likewise, you can populate values for other countries, or once again, as I said, you can do it using the API. It is very straightforward, and the process is exactly the same with other data types, such as line string and polygon. Uh, create the column in schema and then populate it with with values. Uh, columns, uh, spa spatial data type columns must be created in console, where with other data types they can be created uh, through dynamic schema definition, meaning uh, API can drive the process of creating the columns. Spatial data types are different, those need to be declared in console, as exactly as I just showed it to you. Uh, so that's it as far as this demo in this video. Hopefully you found it useful. Thank you, and as always, happy coding.